it's time to go sailing. Ahoy! We are here aboard Charm and we have nice weather today. Highs in the uh, low 80s and the winds are about seven miles per hour. We are getting Charm ready to go so we can get out in the water. We are going to be taking care of some tasks before that. The reason for the tasks that we needed to take care of before we headed out sailing is because the weekend prior we had elevated the boom in order to try to work around some reefing issues that we were having with the mainsail. Uh, that ended up proving to be a wild goose chase and so as a result we are going to lower the boom back down and put the downhaul cleat nine inches above the base of the mast step. So we had a lot of rain over the last couple days. I need to check the bilge again just to make sure everything is okay. Not too bad. It seems rather funny to me how much more is involved with getting charm ready for heading out on the water than it was with my compact legacy sunny it really shouldn't be that much more time i wouldn't think but i guess it's just because i haven't really gotten into the groove of the routine yet with the new boat i haven't completely learned the new ropes pardon the pun uh, so things seem to take a little bit longer than i recall with getting the boat ready to get out onto the water and go sailing Okay, so one of the things that's a little tricky about this Compact 23 that's different from how the Legacy's rudder worked um, is that there's a lever on here, and I'm gonna have my husband try to show you where it is. This lever right here that you can see, I'm gonna need to adjust that. I realized I had to untie the tiller and also take the cover off, which took a few minutes to get that all organized before I could reach back on the transom to deal with the lever on the rudder. In full disclosure, normally my husband does this whole adjustment with the rudder and pushing the blade down. And so it is, as I learned, a bit tricky again because you have to kind of contort your way through the stern pulpit or push pit, the backstay and the mainsail rigging as you reach down to loosen the lever, which you push it forward on my boat, which then allows you to drop the rudder blade down. And once it's down in position, then you can attach the handle back up to the stern pulpit as I'm doing here. There is typically some sort of a tab that you should be able to attach the handle to, but on my boat, the tab is missing. After we lowered the boom and placed the downhaul cleat back where it should be, nine inches above the base of the mast step, I decided it would be a good idea to go ahead and raise the mainsail while still at the dock to make sure everything was good to go and that there were no hangups that would interfere once we got out on the water to raise the sail. We are underway. There's some wind out, I'm happy to say. So we're just practicing our tacking back and forth across the main lake. Uh, we're getting the hang of it a little bit more that we do it. We've done about five tacks so far, I think. We will be to head back into the marina, sailing pretty much, well, it would be more of a broad reach on the way back to the channel. Right now, you can see where the wind is coming from by looking at the waves on the water. And of course, looking at the wind vane at the top of the mast. 
So we pretty much have been just trying to keep it easy peasy and stay on just like a close reach or uh, mostly we've just been close reaching, yeah. And you can see the telltales there. I, I should be doing some more trimming on my jib, my jib here. So I'm gonna get to that. I'm no expert sailor, but I've just been trying to work with my husband on this. And again, we're watching the telltale. And so when we feel a little puff of wind come up and just to keep things more level on the boat, we're not really doing athletic sailing here and putting, wanting to put the rail in the water. We're, we're just gonna fall off a little bit from the wind so that we have a little bit of a flatter sail as opposed to the uh, heeling. So let's see, can you fall off just a little bit? I'm gonna watch the, the telltale just a little bit. It seems like it's kind of stuck there. So I'm not sure what's going on with that but the boat levels out a bit more, which makes for a bit more comfy sail. After getting back to the dock with the setting sun, I started to button up charm with the help of my husband. This is a difficult time of year for me because I know the sailing season is coming to a close. We plan to haul out on October 12th, which is just around the corner. It seems just as soon as our sailing season started, it's now just as soon over. It's difficult to get through the cold winter months. But once the days start getting longer again with the winter solstice, I start getting excited because I know not too long thereafter, with the longer days, with the sun's arms stretching out to reach me, I'm gonna be back aboard Charm again soon. Oh. 